Welcome to Welcome to Way of Yao. My name is Yao and I want to thank all of my new subscribers for hitting that subscribe button and I want to urge anybody who is new to go down and hit that subscribe button as well so you can join the family and see all of the weekly videos. I'm making this video because of the whole incident that happened with Charlotte Tilbury and the foundation line. It turns out that it actually wasn't a foundation and in fact was some sort of skin glow primer sort of situation going on over there. It wasn't actually a foundation but the picture that was launched was basically a picture of about seven different shades and only one seemed to be of the darker range, of the deeper spectrum and that's definitely not okay and Jackie Aina actually posted some snaps with Charlotte Tilbury you know, Kiki or whatever and didn't bring up the fact that there wasn't darker shades. Now it turns out it wasn't foundation but I am here to let you guys know that she is just one person and you can't expect one person to be able to always and constantly um, be the spokesperson for a whole group of people. She has done so much from when she started till now. She has managed to make so many brands recognize darker skinned people and actually extend their foundation ranges and stuff like that. So if there's one example, we can't keep jumping on this person saying, oh, you, why are you kiki with this person when they're not releasing foundation ranges for darker skinned people? What we need to be doing is actually calling out these brands who have been doing this from time. They've never ever catered for dark skinned people. Those are the sort of people that we need to be picking bones with. Do you know what I mean? Because Jackie Aina, yes, in this scenario, if it had been foundation and she didn't call out Charlotte Tilbury, this is one scenario where she didn't. Look at all the occasions where she has. And I feel as though she can only do so much as one person. She can't call out every single little thing that she sees. So I feel as though we can't constantly jump on her and expect her to be the spokesperson. We need to actually be contacting these brands and actually trying to get these brands to do better. Because at the end of the day, it's the brands that are creating the foundations and stuff like that. She is not. I'm going to give you guys a little backstory. I am a very dark skinned boy. I am often the darkest shade of all of the foundation ranges. So for example, in MAC, I'm NW58, which is their darkest shade. Unless they've released a darker colour, I am... Um, that's the darkest one that they do, that I would use. Um, I would actually prefer to go a little bit darker, um, but they don't do darker. I think I'm always the darkest shade in the foundation range. And so, it is very important to me to know that there is somebody constantly striving towards um, inclusivity and trying to include darker skinned people in the conversation. I feel as though for such a long time in the beauty industry, people with dark, with deeper skins are often neglected, are often not catered for. And I feel as though it's important to have a for somebody who actually cares and somebody who is there to, you know, say, this isn't okay, expand it. Now, Jackie Aina isn't the darkest of the darkest. She could probably use a lot more foundations and wouldn't need to speak out as much as she does, but she still acknowledges, hey, there are people who are darker uh, who need some foundation as well. Like, why is there no options for these people? And I feel as though a lot of people who are in positions to be doing something or to be saying something and actually share those values would rather not do that because it would affect their business or affect their brand or affect their name and they don't want to be associated with being outspoken and there are so many people who I've spoken to in real life like in person interactions who dislike Jackie Aina simply because she is constantly speaking about these issues and they'll say stuff like oh she's annoying she just whines she just um goes on and on she just complains but i understand that these people are not affected by these issues the people that i see that tend to do that are people who aren't dark skinned who who don't go through that struggle who don't feel that problem. Do you know what I mean? If you're not affected by something, you're going to find it a lot harder to relate to it because you haven't lived your life and gone through those experiences. I've always been the person who walks into a store and says, what's your darkest shade? And oftentimes, their darkest shade isn't dark enough. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, 
I feel as though it's important to have somebody like Jackie Aina in the industry and at the level that she's at to, you know, be able to voice her opinion and make sure that um, they are, like, including... And most brands still don't include, but we are moving in the right direction, that's what I would say. Too Faced launched a larger shade range, which I'm really happy about. I feel as though I'm not necessarily great i wouldn't use the word grateful because i feel as though it should have been like that from the beginning brands should be including everybody from the beginning so i'm not going to give two Faced a pat on the back or whatever but i'm you know i'm happy that there's a possible shade for me now but i feel as though so many other brands have seen what jackie has to say and has actually you know made a difference if you're constantly saying something somebody's gonna listen and some brands will actually um, take on board what you have to say and respect that and I have a lot of respect for Jackie Aina and I'm very you know thankful that she is where she is and that she's actually able to have an influence on the beauty community as a whole I feel as though she's made so many changes and stuff like that and you know I think it's very important and I want to thank every single person who watched this video and I hope you guys Stay tuned in for the next one. There is going to be many more to come. I hope you are living for this hat. It's from Killstar. I actually love this hat. I've been wearing it all the bloody time. You see my gram. You will see that I've been stunting in this motherfucking hat, baby girl. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.